Right, I'm going to do another video today on how I skin my rabbits. I did put one on a couple of years ago before I was really into, you know, doing the game. And I did say on a comment, I think it's when I'd done a video on how to butcher a rabbit, I was going to do another one. So, it's going to be the same as before, but, you know, I thought let's just do a fresh video. So, I'm going to start off by removing the legs. Well, not just the legs, but feet of them and then get your knife just take them off I got this rabbit last night when was out lamping and like always with me by the time I got back it was late so I stuck this in the chiller so it might be a little bit hard to work with but you know so so we'll do it so when you've gutted the rabbit I gutted them last night Obviously you've got your fur and not the skin on your belly flap. You can just ease it, I'm just going to turn it around in a minute. Just ease it apart, like that. And for me there's two ways to skin a rabbit. You can rather work the whole fur off in one. But for me, I don't do that anymore. I work it off as far as I can around the back. Put my knife in. Cut it, separate it like that, and then just work with the back end. Pull it down the back, just like that. Now, I do try and skin my rabbits when they're warm, it's so much easier. I mean, this isn't too bad. And pull that off work on the front Just push the front legs through just like so I say years ago I did use to skin them off whole like the fur because there was someone local to me used to have them for um, dog training. Used to wrap them around dummies. But now I'll just split it. Let's do it half and half. Because the fur's no good to me unless someone wants one. So once you've uh, worked it off the front part, you come to the head. Give it a crack there. Get my knife. Straight in. And I'll give you a tip on how to remove the rest of the, you know, waste pipe, so to speak. I'll open up the rabbit, a little bit more of my knife, put it flat on the table, and then I say with your knife, either side of the tail, just make an incision, just like that, and give it a good few twists. And then once you give it a few twists, see if this works, give it a pull, and everything comes out that's left in there from when you've gutted it. Just like that. So you are left with a completely clean rabbit. And then the last thing I do, take out the liver. Beautiful bit of off offal that is. And obviously remove the kidneys. Go through the diaphragm. And get your fingers right up in the cavity. And just take out the heart and lungs. That'd be destined to the ferrets. Might keep the heart for myself, but normally I'd give them to the ferrets as a treat. Especially when they've been ferreting. And then that is it. That is one rabbit, skinned and completely cleaned. You can give it a wash off, just get rid of a bit of the blood or wipe down. And obviously with your liver, it's a good way to check of the health of any animal. Because when rabbits have got mixy or had mixy, you'll see white spots on the liver. As you can see, this is a perfectly healthy rabbit. So there we go. It's just a refresh video on how I 
skin them. Like I said I'll do one. And there it is.